Today, I'm going to be installing Powerbubble's 12 volt air pump. I tried a USB charge pump and it lasted one day and then broke and would not hold a charge. So, this was the only one I could actually find on Amazon from Powerbubble's Marine Metal Products. It is the 12 volt, volt, volt version and it has gator clamps. So, usually no big deal, just clamp this on and off your battery. But in my scenario, I've got my battery underneath a box nice and hidden from the elements. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing an inline switch. So I went on Amazon.com and just purchased a cheap inline switch. And I'm thinking that all I've got to do is hook the positive end here, positive end here to this, this positive cable. And that should shut on and off the power with this switch here. Now you, be, you, you might say, Matt, why are you not do it using the switch on the power bubbles unit because this unit does not have an on and off switch many people buy this unit expecting it to have an on and off switch and come to find out it does not it comes with the tube comes with the nice heavy duty air stones the uh, one-way uh, backflow valves and so this is what we're going to install with this off switch outside so i can switch it on and off without having to uh, remove the lid off my battery box and we'll be able to keep some fish alive. So let's go ahead and do the install and I'll show you the results. Okay, I've got my air tubes securely snugged into place there into the pump unit. Then they come underneath the seat. You can see I have the one-way valves right there underneath the seat. And then the tubing coming all the way out here that I went ahead and cut into two pieces that I can now put my stones on. And voila! Okay, air tubes are hooked up. Now we just got to work on the electrical. So what I've done, this is the negative gator clamp here. And so the negative, I'll be able to hook right up to the negative part of my battery post. Now I could take this off and I could install uh, a better piece to hook up to that post there. I don't have that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the gator clamp. It is covered by the lid, so that will protect it somewhat from the weather. I'll probably go ahead and put some liquid electrical tape on this part right here, just to kind of help seal that up, keep it from being corroded. And then what I did with the positive, the positive coming out of the pump and the positive to the gator clamp, I actually spliced to right there, my switch that I have installed on the outside of the battery box. And then you see it goes to there. And then I can go ahead and hook the uh, positive gator clamp to the positive side, but the machine still, sh I can control whether it's on or off because the current has to go through the switch, which I can snap on or off. And I just use, again, liquid electrical tape. I wrap that around the post, liquid electrical tape there and there. I know it's not the most professional of jobs, but it'll get the job done. And for this person who is not an electrician, I'll take it. Now this switch that I bought had these plugs on it right here. You can see this plug where it's got like a prong there then an opening there. And no matter how I tried it, it would not work with this switch. It just would not get the power to the air pump. So what I did was I cut those ends off and I exposed the black and the white wire. And I'm assuming that the black is the ground like it normally is and the white is the hot. And now I can splice my power cords from the pump directly to that and we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and make that adjustment now and see if it works. Well, mystery solved and I am just as confused as I can be. I don't know if this was a manufacturer mistake or if I'm just not an electrician, not figuring something out. So I took this thing apart and just figured I would try everything every which way. So what I found out, if I take the positive from the gator clamp all the way to the white wire. Now check this out. And then I continue the positive from not the white wire, but the black wire that goes to the pump. And then the black ground, I have bypassed the switch entirely. So the black ground does not go to the switch. It goes straight to the battery, which is fine. You should not have to ground it through the switch. Now I could have attached the black to the black here and then the white there, and I'm sure it will be just fine. But check this out, going positive to white, positive to black, right there, and the ground just going straight from the bubbler to the battery box. 
You hear that? Look at that. Oh well, I'm not gonna question it. Now I'm just gonna seal it up, reinstall it, and we are good to go.